Hello King's Church Stone Market. Welcome to the first of our devotional videos for our prayer and fasting week. First let me give you a little introduction to our week. While of preparing and praying about uh, our prayer and fasting week, I really felt led by God for us to focus on his sovereignty, his supremacy, that his reign is eternal and he's always in control. We are living in a time of great uncertainty. The very foundations of our society, our economy, our government are being shaken. It's easy for us to say that God is sovereign, not just over our lives, but over everything. It's not always so easy for us to truly believe that, especially when living through such difficult times. So let's spend this week as we pray and fast together as a church focusing on God's sovereignty and supremacy. Let's meditate and immerse ourselves in the truth that our God reigns. Can I encourage you this week as well as you watch these devotionals and pray that you join with me in fasting as well. We heard from Daybar yesterday fasting is not something we are supposed to do. It's not a religious ritual. And it's definitely not something we should do to gain praise from our fellow humans. However, as Dave R. pointed out yesterday, Jesus says in Matthew, when you fast. As Christians, Jesus expects and assumes that we will fast. Now, this is not something that we've done lots of here at King's Church, so I'm not expecting you to, to not eat for the next five days. Let's start small. It doesn't even have to be a meal if you don't feel up to that. It could just be fasting from a snack or fasting from caffeine. And if fasting from food is a problem for you, especially if that would be a, a health issue for you, then uh, you could fast from something else instead. Perhaps don't read your book this week or don't play that game on your phone. Instead, spend that time fasting and praying. Whatever you decide to fast from this week, make sure to replace that time with prayer and with time with our Lord. One final note before I start today's devotional. Every day I will reference a Bible passage in the video description so that you're able to find it and be ready before you watch the video. You might want to at this moment press pause and find today's Bible passage so that you're ready. Our Bible passage for today is 1 Chronicles 29 verse 10 to 12. David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly saying praise be to you Lord the God of our father Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Yours Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honour come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Spend some time thinking over these words. Perhaps even read them over a few times. Let's praise God that he is everlasting to everlasting, that he is Lord and King over all, every kingdom, every nation, throughout all of space and time are under his rule. Spend some time today exalting God, acknowledging his everlasting reign. When I was preparing for this week I had a song stuck in my head which I just kept singing and, and thinking on. It's called Our God He Reigns by Simon Brading. You might find it helpful to Google search and listen to this song. I've written the name of it in the description so that you're to help you find it. I think we could maybe make this song a, an anthem for us this week as we press into to God and focus on his sovereignty, on his eternal reign. Well I hope and pray that you have a good time now pressing into the presence of God and I'll see you again tomorrow.